Hello, welcome once again to TDI's vlog, It's Our World 2. I'm Claude Stout, Executive Director with Telecommunications for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Incorporated, TDI. On June 28, 2010, the FCC, Federal Communications Commission, released a Notice of Inquiry, an NOI, called Structure and Practices of the Video Relay Service, VRS, program. This is an important proceeding, as it comes out during the 20th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, the ADA. The ADA is a very important civil rights law that removed many barriers in government and industry. It also created the Nationwide Telecommunications Relay Services, TRS. The FCC supports VRS and wants to keep it strong with good fiscal management and to empower you with the ability to make calls to anyone at any time. The FCC is asking questions and wants to hear from you. We know how you value having video phones. To make VRS calls or to have peer-to-peer -peer calls with friends and families. How can VRS providers improve their services and technology for us? What is something new that you feel hasn't happened and can be done with today's technology? The FCC wants to know if you're happy with your video phone and find it interoperable with other video phones and different VRS providers. The FCC wants to know how they can be improved. Should we get video phones free from VRS providers or should we buy them from stores like Best Buy and Walmart, etc.? Or should video phones be available in your state telecommunications equipment program or through one national distribution center? The FCC also wants to know about video phone software that you download on your computer, such as P3 or Z4, etc. The FCC also is interested to know if video phones should be interoperable with other video chat programs outside of VRS services, AIM, or Skype. The FCC is looking into whether VRS providers continue to distribute equipment as they provide relay service or just provide relay services alone. The FCC is also interested to know which video phone features are considered basic and enhanced. The FCC asks for your feedback based on your VRS calling experience. The FCC asks us about our experience with ASL interpreters, such as whether they satisfy our communication needs. Should VRS providers have oral interpreters available? Should there be time prior to the call to allow the caller 
to give special instructions to interpreters. The FCC is trying to measure the potential market for VRS. Do you know of any deaf or hard of hearing friends and contacts that don't have 10 digit numbers? We commend FCC for asking this important question. Should interpreters and other hearing people who know sign language be allowed to have their own 10 digit numbers? It's important that the VRS is always here for you and that there be enough interpreters available in your community. The FCC asks us on other issues, are there enough interpreters available to provide VRS and community services? Are you generally satisfied with the speed of answer performance under two minutes? How many hearing people family, or friends do you know that use video communications on a regular basis using non-VRS software? We know you may feel a bit overwhelmed as you watch this vlog. We know there are a lot of questions for you to think about. However, you need not answer every question. Choose questions that you have answers for. Please understand the FCC is asking questions to improve the future of VRS. You have two options to send comments to the FCC either by filing electronically or sending them paper copy via regular mail. Make sure to indicate docket number CG 1051 at the beginning of your comments. It's very important to send your comments before the deadline. TDI encourages you to send in your feedback to the FCC. With many of your comments to the FCC, we can be assured of a high quality VRS program in the future. We need your help and in advance, we thank you for your participation. We would appreciate a copy of what you send to the FCC at info at tdionline.org. With your help, TDI can continue to shape an accessible world. Thank you for watching our vlog, It's Our World Too. See you next time.